Hello, my name is David Kersley, a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we will be creating, editing, and troubleshooting custom section views. If we look over here on our screen, we can see that we have a rather unique section view. Section views are very easy to create in SOLIDWORKS. We can go to View Layout, Section View, and we can pick over here on the left whether we want to do vertical, horizontal, auxiliary, or aligned. Just pick one, pick where you want to go through the part. This will allow you to do an arc offset, a single offset, a notched offset. If I hit the green check here, okay, I can then choose over here on the left which direction I want it to go. Notice that my arrows have changed here and I can drag and drop this part over. And now I have my section view and I cut it cleanly through this part. But what if I look at this view over here on the left and I wanna go through several places and I wanna create my own custom. How can we do that? It's actually relatively simple. Let's delete this out. So if I delete this uh, uh, section line here and what I can do this is I go to the sketch tool and I can hit line and just to kind of show you how easy this is once I've got line picked I'm gonna come in and maybe I want to activate that center mark so I can get a reference point point. and I'm just gonna come in I'm gonna to sketch to the center of this hole I'm gonna move over I'm gonna go grab here let's go to the center of this hole and maybe I come over here I grab this guy grab the center, move over, hit the center mark of this one. And you can see I'm just sketching some lines, just like we've, we've done in SOLIDWORKS um, over the years and, and nothing too crazy, right? Relatively simple. And let's pull this center line through here. And once I've got that selected, I'll hit escape. And a couple of ways you can do this from here. This is a rather unique little way to cut through this part, right? I can pick this first line, right click on it and say select chain. And when I do notice that it picked all of my lines there, whoops, I do it again, select chain. It grabbed the entire sketch chain. From here, view layout, section view. And what happens is as I hit this projected view over here to the left side, I wanna cut away everything kind of inside of my little area there. But look what happened to my section view. My section view is huge. Right? And that's not what we're looking for. I want to delete this little note here for just a second. And we can see that while well, this edge lines up here, and we could um, come, come in and draw a little sketch, right? And if I pulled a line off this endpoint here, and I drew it horizontally, yeah, I'm, I'm in alignment. But you can obviously see that this point to down here is, is dramatically off. So what happened here? And what's causing this? One way we want to be able to do is go back and edit this section view. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to edit the sketch. And here's what's happening. When SOLIDWORKS is coming down, it's basically projecting over everywhere these lines are intersecting the part. But when it gets to this, in this case, like the horizontal or the, the left to right here, this line it's trying to translate it over into the section view. So if we just come back, we click on this line, hold down the control or the shift key and grab all the lines in this case going horizontal and we grab all three of the maybe let's just grab those three right there at the front and over here on the left click for construction hit the green check exit our sketch it's going to give us a little warning it says it's been marked for construction they're not perpendicular to the adjoining lines we're going to say okay it's going to update and it's going to say okay great so we're getting closer to having this in the correct location let's go back one more time right click edit sketch and let's make this line construction hit the green check exit our sketch it's going to warn us again we're going to say okay and now we have it projected in the correct size so if you do a custom section view you have to keep that in mind that these everywhere that the solid lines are cutting to it's going to try and create in that section view over there so um, you can kind of have a ton of freedom in creating your section views. So this has been David Kersley with Go Engineer. 
I hope you found this SolidWorks tutorial helpful. Please check out our Go Engineer YouTube library or visit our uh, website to enroll in classes near you at goengineer.com. Thank you.